Is your Pota filter doing this on your Breville Barista Express? I just made a coffee and I'm going to open the Pota filter and see. And this is what happens. So what's happening is the grinds got stuck here. Have you faced this issue? Okay, let's see how to fix it. It's so simple. So I'll show you one quick solution and I'll explain further why is it happening. So in order to get it back, all you do is put the potter filter back and switch on single or double cup for five seconds. Now this will push the beans down and then you should be able to get it. Now you should be able to discard this easy. So I'm going to take my knock box. Just came off. Okay, now I'm going to explain why this is happening or the possible cause. Now, there are several reasons why you get that puck stuck on the group head. Now, uh, one reason is the quality of the beans. Uh, some beans, they are very sticky and it can happen. Uh, the reason is as, as soon as the water hits the espresso grinds, it's going to expand because it's hot water, it's going to expand and it extracts the oil, everything out of the grinds. Now, as it expands, it's going to touch the group head and uh, that can build pressure. And uh, when you take the potter filter out, you see that it was pressed against the group head and it will remain there. Now, there are a few things that you can do to avoid that. First possible reason is you have too much grinds in your potter filter. To fix that, uh, Bravel has given this nice tool. This is the racer tool where after dosing and tamping, you always check the height and spin it around and take off the excess grinds out of the potter filter. Now, I use a two-in-one tamper like this. So I've adjusted this to the racer height. Now, uh, I did not put exactly the racer height now I left a bit of space. I adjusted slightly more than the racer height here. Uh, the reason is this is to cater the expansion of the beans. Now let me show you a closer look at the, the height that I've adjusted. Now this is the 7.5 mm height that you need to adjust. I always try to take 8 mm roughly. Now if you look closely you see the, the gap there. I don't know if you can see. Let me try to zoom in. Uh, you see that little gap here, right here. Now that's uh, 8 mm height. That's why you see the gap there. If you adjust exactly the 7.5 mm, uh, what's going to happen is after you have tamped it properly, when you take the tamper out, immediately it's going to expand a bit. Now, that expansion uh, will be around 0.5 mm. That's what I found. That's why I adjusted this to 8 mm size. Now, after I'm done tamping with this, if I run my racer tool, I don't get any grinds, remaining excess grinds. So that's how you know that this is adjusted to the correct height. Now, the solution for the sticky puck on your group head is always tamp it a bit low. Let me just show you what's going to happen if you adjust this height, the timbre height to racer height exactly. So here I have a gap here, so I'm going to uh, reduce it exactly to the eraser height. 
so I loosen this and tighten it. Uh, let us check now. Now I adjusted it to the, the racer height. Now if you look closely, there's no gap here or even here. So it flushes well. Uh, this is exactly 7.5 mm. So now I'm going to uh, dispense some grinds and I'm going to tamp it using this side. Uh, let's see what happens when I use the eraser tool. So here I have 18 grams of bean exactly. So let's use this. Okay, so let's have a closer look. I'm going to use the distributor tool this side first and level it. Now after leveling, I'm going to use this side which is the racer height ex exactly. So let's tamp it down. Now it's hitting the ridge, all the sides. Now I'm going to remove this. Okay, so this is technically 7.5 mm and this should barely touch the racer here. Now, uh, like I explained, this grind is going to expand a bit as soon as you release the tambour. So let's see if that is true. That's a lot of beans. Uh, this is because after tamping, even though I put exactly 7.5 mm, uh, because the grind expands as soon as you take out the, the tamper, that's a lot of beans and it is not the correct 7.5 mm after tamping. So that's why I always put it at 8.5 mm. So I'm going to keep it here and I'm going to adjust it to 8.5 mm and I'm going to tamp this again. So let's loosen it. Now this is uh, roughly 0.5 mm I would say. Um, now uh, let's tamp it using this. Uh, this is almost 8 mm now and let's see if it makes any difference. So let me try to distribute these beans. Um, you know what, let me take my other tool. The lobster pick. <laughs> this is more like a waste method. So I want to distribute it well before I level it and tamp and this will ensure I fluff up the beans again. Uh, so that it distributes well and so it's the same quantity um, all I'm doing is just fluffing up uh, so that the grinds are loose and then we are able to tamp it again uh, use, using the same 18 grams quantity so let me use the distribution side to level it so now it's exactly 18 grams which is leveled and I'm going to use the other side to tamp it down. Uh, like I mentioned, this is slightly more than the racer height. I would say 8 mm. So that's the distance we need to tamp it down. Okay, now after tamping, make sure it hits the ridge around uh, the potter filter. Uh, okay, let me tamp it well. Okay, so it's touching the ridge around. This is good to go. So I'm going to slowly take it out. And then I'm going to use this racer tool. Uh, now this should barely touch. That's what Bravel wants. And let me run it around. And it's exactly the height we want, what we need. So if you look carefully, it's barely touching the beans. 
so that's what we need to achieve now if we achieve this height then everything is good uh, there will be a slight gap between the grinds and the group head here and as soon as the water touches the puck it's going to expand further and it will barely touch the group head and you'll see the mark after pulling the shot you'll see a dot in the middle and some pattern of the screen now it shouldn't be much pronounced it should just barely touch the group head now if you are in that situation everything is good and that's what Breville recommends so that's why it is important if you are using a two-in-one tool make sure you don't set it exactly the 7.5 mm always set it uh, maybe 0.5 or 0.8 mm more than the racer height that will ensure what I have explained now uh, which caters the expansion of the grinds now if you don't have a tool like this use a bravel tamper and make sure you tamp it uh, making sure you don't see that silver line here that's how you know you adjusted the height to the correct razor height now always run this razor tool um, after tamping so that you can be sure uh, you get the correct height next time. In case if you don't know, Breville Barrister Express has the feature where it sucks all the moisture out of the puck from your potter filter. Now that ensures that you always get a dry puck or almost dry puck so that it's easier for you to discard it. As soon as you tap the knock box, it will come out easily. Now for that feature to work, you need to dry the puck properly. So what you do is you leave the potter filter after making espresso on the machine for say two to three minutes. Now after three minutes, once you open it, uh, you see almost dry puck and it's easy to knock it down. Because of this feature, what's going to happen is there will be an upward pressure, a slight pressure so that it sucks up all the moisture out of this puck. Now, if you have excess grinds on your potter filter already, that means you filled it slightly more than the racer level height and you somehow managed to lock it and make a shot. What happens is it will expand. When the grind expands, it's going to press the group head uh, and that will create a lot of pressure. So when you take out the potter filter, it's going to get stuck there plus that upward pressure after making espresso so both can add uh, to that sticking of the puck to the group head so the solution is to reduce the level of the grinds make sure you always use the racer tool to check the height if you have excess grinds either tamp it harder or use the racer tool and discard the excess grinds so that should help that issue now if you still have issue uh, even though the grinds are in the right height uh, that means uh, you'll have to play with the adjustment of the grinds and see whether that helps um, like i mentioned earlier it could be the quality of the beans that you're using uh, maybe it's slightly old uh, or near to stale condition uh, so try to get fresh beans always now I hope this tip helped you and uh, in case if you get a puck stuck on your group head uh, just follow the solution that I showed you just press the single or double cup button for five seconds so that it gets that pressure down and it will pull that uh, puck down to the potter filter again so if you like this video give a thumbs up. I'll be posting more videos on Bravel Barrister Express and related things. So please make sure that you have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't, I would really appreciate that. Anyway, see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.